production of compound interest. Compound interest is interest upon interest, where interest is added to the principal and the full principal plus interest is treated as the new principal for the calculation of the interest for the next period. Because the interest is added to the principal, the interest itself earning interest during the next time period for computing interest. This is why it means when, when it is said the interest is being compounded, the final sum at the end of the period of borrowing is called compound amount. Methodology of important term Original principle for P The amount of loan or deposit For frequency of conversion M The number of times interest is calculated in a year Compound period or interest period Compound annually Interest is calculated on balance once a year Which is frequency M equal 1 for compound semi-annual, interest is calculated on balance every month or one per two years, which is frequency M equal to. For compound quarterly, interest is calculated on balance every three months or one per four years, which is frequency M equal to. For compound monthly, interest calculated on balance every month, which is frequency M Problem statement Ahmad saved 40,000 ringgit in a saving account which pay 10% interest compound quarterly for 9 years. We need to find the value of P, K, M and T based on the question above and calculate the future value of the investment. We need to find the total interest earning by him at the end of the investment. The value of result P or M40,000 K 10% equal 0 0.01 M4 T9 I 0 0.1 over 4 and 9 multiply 4. So here's the result. First, we need to find S equal P1 plus I. S equal 40,001 plus 0 0.025 power of 36. S equal 40,001.025 power of 36. Uh, S equal 40,002.433. S equal 19.7301.4. Four one three, and here's uh, the result. S equal R M ninety seven three hundred one point four four. Next, we need to find I. I equal S uh, minus B. I equal ninety seven three hundred one point four one three minus forty thousand. I equal 57301.41 and the result is I equal RM 57301.41 The conclusion using the method as statement above, we will apply to find the amount and the compound interest earned by Ahmad. After 9 years, Ahmad will get 97301.41 ringgit for the amount and 57301.41 ringgit for the compound interest. Introduction of trade discount. A trade discount is the reduction in price a manufacturer or wholesaler gives a wholesaler or retail when they buy a product or or group of product. In other words, a trade discount is a certain percentage a manufacturer is willing to reduce its list price for wholesaler or retailers. Trade discount are divided into two types, single trade discount and chain discount. Single trade discount. 
a single trade discount is a single given by the manufacturer or wholesaler to the retailer. Chain discount. Chain discount are trade discount given given in a series or two or more successive discount. This is to allow manufacturer to have flexibility in setting trade discount for different classes of customers, seasonal trend, and promotion activities. Problem statement: Single trade discount. The list price of a microwave is a two hundred ringgit. If fifteen percent trade discount given, fine. A. The amount of discount. B. The net price after discount. Trade discount formula. Trade discount amount is capital D equal list price multiply trade discount rate, and capital D equal L multiply small d, and the net price is NP equal list price minus trade discount amount, and NP equal L minus in bracket L multiply small d, and then NP plus L. In bracket one minus D. For the solution A, amount of discount, total discount equal L minus NP equal two hundred ringgit minus one hundred seventy ringgit, and the final answer is thirty ringgit. For the question B, is net price, net price, NP equal L in bracket one minus D, and then. NP equal two hundred ringgit minus in bracket one minus zero point one five. Then NP equal two hundred in bracket zero point eight five, and NP equal one hundred seventy ringgit. The conclusion for the question above A is we state the amount of the discount, and the answer is. Thirty ringgit. Next, for the question B, we need to find the net price, and the answer is one hundred seventy ringgit. Problem statement for chain discount. An item list for two thousand five hundred ringgit is given. The trade discount is eight percent and five percent. A. State the value of LP, NP, capital D, small d, where applicable based on the information given. B calculate the net price of the item, and C calculate the amount of discount. The solution for problem statement is A LP equal to two thousand five hundred ringgit, D D one equal to zero point zero five, and D two equal to zero point zero eight. For B NP equal to L in bracket one minus D one in bracket again. One minus D two, then NP equal to two thousand five hundred in bracket again one minus zero point zero five in bracket one minus zero point zero eight, and NP equal to two thousand five hundred in bracket zero point nine five in bracket again zero point nine two, then NP equal to two thousand five hundred. In bracket zero point eight seven four, and the final answer is NP equal to two thousand one hundred and eighty five ringgit. And for the question and for the question C, the amount of trade discount is two thousand five hundred ringgit minus two thousand one hundred eighty five ringgit equal to three hundred and fifty ringgit. And for the conclusion above A. We need to state the value of LP, NP, capital D, small d, where applicable based on the information given. But in this case, there no d, there no NP and small d given. So the answer will be LP is two thousand five hundred, D one is zero point zero five, and D two is zero point zero eight. For question B. We need to calculate the net price, and the answer will be two thousand one hundred and eighty-five ringgit. Last but not least, for question C, ask for the amount of the discount. The answer is three hundred and fifty ringgit. Cayo.